everyone hope you all are doing good today i'm going to show you how to make yummy pakoras in the air fryer in my last video i showed you how to make crispy garlic zucchini bites pakoras are one of my favorite and i'm sure it's your favorite too those who don't like spinach are going to love it this is so easy i'm just going to put all the ingredients in one big bowl mix it all together and put it directly inside the air fryer basket and you'll see how the air fryer is going to take care of it so keep watching and let's get started welcome to shine with shops this channel is all about making you shine with my healthy diet and building your emotional strength so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates from me for this i'm taking 4 cups of spinach wash and let it dry i'm also using one large red onion and two green chilies the size of this onion is huge so you may take two onion the more onion you use pakoras are going to taste much better cutting onion can be tricky that's why you should use a sharp knife my husband always reminds me that the tool i use is more important the right tool for the right things makes life much easier i'm using red onion but if you prefer to use white onion instead please do so this looks gorgeous isn't it now i'm going to cut the spinach take a handful of spinach hold it and roughly chop them through we know that spinach is a good source of iron but did you know that cooked spinach has some protein as well add the chopped spinach into a large mixing bowl for some heat i'm cutting two green chilies you can just add one green chili or avoid it if you don't like add this to the bowl if you use your finger make sure to wash your finger as well now add red onion we chopped earlier it's time to add more flavors 1 teaspoon pink himalayan rock salt 1 teaspoon garam masala 1 teaspoon roasted cumin powder 1/4 teaspoon black pepper powder 1/4 teaspoon ginger powder this will help with digestion to this add 1 and 1/2 cups of besan or chickpea flour 1/4 cup of rice flour this will give the crispy texture add 3/4 to 1 cup of water and mix everything well until the mixture starts to bind Next, preheat the air fryer and keep it ready. Spray some cooking oil. This will help the pakoras not to get too dry. Brush and form a small ball-shaped portion of the mix and put it directly in the air fryer. Make sure not to overcrowd the basket. Leave some gap between each pakoras. I managed to get 12 pakoras in my basket. close the basket and air fry set the temperature to 380 degree fahrenheit and set the time for 8 minutes not many children like vegetables to eat and maybe not many vegetables that you like to eat as well but in the form of pakoras you can consume more vegetables this is a fun way and you're not even going to realize it so i added spinach today you can add shredded carrots cabbage cauliflower peppers just include the vegetable of your choice and make pakoras out of it this way you're going to consume more veggies in the form of pakoras your kids are going to love it and you're going to enjoy it after 8 minutes you'll notice that it's starting to brown a little bit since we used plenty of spinach it looks green spray a little bit of oil uh, this is optional it will help bring out the crispy texture i'm going to air fry for 6 more minutes under 380 degree fahrenheit the best part is pakoras are not sticking to the basket at all after 6 minutes i'm going to air fry for another 2 more minutes for an additional crispy texture which i like so it took me 16 minutes in total when you buy an air fryer and when you see many other recipes many air fryer recipes that same temperature and time may not be the same for you each air fryer varies with the temperature and time 
make sure to test it out use the same temperature use the same uh, set temperature and time and if it works for you well it's great if it doesn't just adjust the temperature and adjust the time according to your preference let's see how it turned out wow this looks gorgeous love the crispy texture so inviting plate it and have it with your favorite sauce i love to have it with hot and sweet sauce or you can have it with mint chutney or just enjoy it hot i'm so pleased with the look of it and the texture is so soft inside look at the steam coming out of it fresh and hot this is beautiful you can make plenty of yummy dishes out of it make a quick chaat curry it goes well with tea or after school snack for kids the air fried pakoras and the deep fried pakoras may not be quite similar because this doesn't have much oil so you might find it a little bit dry than the deep fried ones but the sauce that you're going to use will really come in handy i really enjoy this with hot and sweet sauce or mint chutney or coriander chutney or any other chutney that you like or any other sauce that you enjoy that's definitely going to help uh with this air fried pakoras because that's what i noticed the deep fried and air fried is going to not be the 100% same it's quite similar you're going to get the texture you're going to get the flavors and the best part is it's good for you good for your health and we are lucky to have an air fryer so that we can just air fry and enjoy these pakoras as much as we enjoy the deep fried ones so do give it a try you're going to love it and do come back and let me know in the comments below if you ever try this pakoda if you ever try this recipe do come back and let me know i'll be happy to know make this pakoda try it you're going to love it if you like this recipe please give a thumbs up share it with your friends and stay tuned for another exciting recipe and don't forget to shine with shows